Today, we're remembering a Hollywood legend who had a profound effect on the TV and film industries and whose work revealed his big heart. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Happy days. Pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman. No, no, I'm, I'm Mark for Mark. Mark and Mindy. What do all of these beloved classics have in common? This man. Writer and director Gary Marshall has died at the age of 81, leaving behind a legacy of storytelling and star grooming. He's Gary Marshall. He's, the, he's everything everyone said. He's kind, he's sweet, he's generous. Marshall passed away in a Burbank, California hospital last night of complications from pneumonia following a stroke. In a statement, his family says, quote, he loved telling stories and making people laugh. Two things Marshall excelled at. He was a key player in one of TV's golden ages, also creating The Odd Couple and Laverne and Shirley, which starred his sister Penny Marshall. And with a career that spanned more than six decades, Marshall was also behind a string of box office hits. Their success was rooted in his signature style, telling stories on a very human scale, something he opened up to our Terry Hart about earlier this year. Your movies are really about people. You know, I still think there's an audience out there that truly likes a story and they like to laugh and cry. Throughout his career, Marshall worked with some of Hollywood's biggest stars like Julie Andrews and Anne Hathaway in Princess Diaries. And he made stars too. Mork and Mindy brought Robin Williams fame, while Pretty Woman, of course, shot Julia Roberts into the stratosphere. In fact, Roberts and Marshall reunited in what has turned out to be Marshall's final film, Mother's Day. They did get a little choked up, but so did Julie to be honest because uh, you know it's been a few years we've come a long way in the same place Marshall's effect on Hollywood is being reflected in the tributes pouring in from stars Richard Gere remembered Marshall in a statement saying quote everyone loved Gary he was a mentor and a cheerleader and one of the funniest men who ever lived he had a heart of the purest gold and a soul full of mischief he was Gary Marshall is survived by his wife of 53 years, Barbara, and his three children. Lady Gaga has just spoken out about her split from longtime love Taylor Kinney and is asking fans to root for them. It was confirmed yesterday that Gaga and the actor ended their engagement earlier this month. They'd been together for five years after Kinney starred in Gaga's music video for You and I. In a post to Instagram, the singer wrote, quote, Taylor and I have always believed we are soulmates. Just like all couples, we have ups and downs and we have been taking a break. We are both ambitious artists hoping to work through long distance and complicated schedules to continue the simple love we have always shared. Please root us on. We really love each other. Twitter is cracking down on users who attacked Leslie Jones on the social media site. As we told you yesterday, the Ghostbusters star was subject to an onslaught of racist and misogynist tweets. Twitter says it has taken action on many of the users who harassed the actress and has reportedly permanently banned at least one user for repeated personal attacks against Jones. The actress who tweeted about how hurt she was by the hate called on Twitter to make changes so that it wouldn't happen again. In response, the site's founder, Jack Dorsey, personally reached out to her. Since then, the company released a statement saying it was making changes to its harassment policy, adding, quote, we know many people believe we have not done enough to curb this type of behavior on Twitter. We agree. As always, get your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at Ent City.